Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. On the last video, I show you guys how to prepare a 3D model to be imported to Unity 5 and how to import it into the engine. If you guys remember, when we imported the model into our scene, it was all pink, just like you can see here. That happens because we not, do not have materials created for the model. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to create materials and apply them to our model. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and, if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. So, now that we have our mesh in our project, you need to create the materials to use. The materials allow you to apply textures and colors to, uh, to your 3D assets during the rendering. Now, to create a new material, we select our folder right here, materials, and with the um, left, with the right mouse button, we click, we open the menu, and on create, you can find here material. Okay, and this will create a new material, and we can apply it to the, an object and tweak its properties in the inspector. So, materials um, use shaders, right? So, all rendering in Unity is done by shaders. A shader is a computer program that is used to do shading. So, basically, it's the production of the appropriate levels of color within an image or in the modern era. Uh, they also use it to produce special effects or do video processing. In Unity, Shaders are small scripts that let you configure how the graphic hardware is set for the rendering. So, when we create a new material, just like this one in Unity 5, the engine will automatically select sh the standard shader for you. You can select the shaders by clicking in this combo box right here, where you have a full list of shaders that you can select from. Uh, for now, we are just going to leave the standard shader selected. We will talk about, uh, we will talk a little bit more about uh, the, the shaders later on. So for now, just let's leave it as standard. Now we could just apply a color to our model, but we don't want that since we have the textures for it. We want to apply the textures. So what we need to do next. Is to import all the textures as all the texture assets that we have created previously in our image creation um, software like Photoshop for example and import them into Unity. So to do this I'm just going to go here select my textures folder and now I'm going to select all the textures I need and drag them into this folder in Unity. And now Unity will import all the textures. As you guys can see right now. Still importing. These can take quite a while depending on the size of your textures, so my textures are, are high resolution, so they take a little bit more time to import, okay? You have them now, you can see them right here uh, on Unity, we have uh, several types of textures for now, let's just focus on materials, we'll talk about the several types of textures in the next video. So now, going back to materials, we have uh, a new material here and what we actually want to do is to have one material for each base texture. In this case we have three basic, te we have three basic textures. We have a texture for the, the back of the vehicle, one for the front and another one for the wheels. So what I'm going to do is to create three different materials one material for each texture. So, just let's just rename this material here. Okay, so let's call it 
Loadmaster Cargo. Back. Let's create a new one. Loadmaster Cargo Front. And finally, the last one. Loadmaster Cargo Wheels. Okay, so now you have the three textures, the, the three materials, sorry, created. Then what you are actually going to do is we are going to select one. So let's start by the cargo back. And now we go to our textures and we are actually going to select a texture and drag it over the albedo field. So as you guys can see, we have several uh, properties in the shader but we'll talk them about we'll talk about them in the next video for now just you're going to use just albedo um, you can also use albedo uh, let's just, let me just show you guys here you cannot actually show use albedo to change the color you can see right here the color changing to change the color of the of the material but since we don't want that we're just going to drag the textures over this field so right now is the loadmaster cargo front we are actually going to drag that texture to the albedo field and finally here on materials we are going to drag the wheels okay returning to materials we now have we can apply you now can see the material here all the three materials and now what I'm actually going to do is apply the materials to our mesh now this is quite simple all you need to do is to select the material here on the on the project view and drag it to your scene and drop it over the the part of the mesh that you want to apply that material so let's start with the wheels shall we as you guys can see, actually I'm going to start with the, with the front because it will be it will be easier for us to actually see the rest of the model with this part textured. Now I'm applying this um, this material to these specific parts because I ar I'm already familiar with the model because I was not modeling and doing the UV map so I know that the the texture for this part is in this texture texture map so it will be this material so just so guys so you guys know why i'm doing this because if i apply for example another material here it will look weird because this is not the correct material so it's not the correct uvs okay so just to give you guys a quick explanation why I'm dragging different materials to different areas uh, and why we do UV mapping okay so we have the the front of the vehicle now for the back we are going to drag the back okay it seems to be working I think we are only missing the wheels yes okay so going under the vehicle we are now going to change the view a little bit to here I'm going to actually drag the, the wheel texture to its correct position here 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 the same to this side and now we are missing the V4 wheels this last side right here here and here Okay guys, so basically this is it, this is how you create materials and apply materials uh, to, to meshes in Unity 5. Keep in mind that this is a very basic set of materials, so on the next video I'm going to explore the standard shader and all these properties that you can see right here on the inspector and what they do, so you can create more realistic materials. So 
you don't have just a basic material just like this one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next tutorial, have a nice day!